Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at season 3 of Westworld. So in this season, Dolores has now taken residence in Los Angeles in an effort to continue her mission to conquer humanity. Make sure you're all caught up on the first two seasons of Westworld because there will be some spoilers. So many consider season 3 to be the weakest season of the show so far. And I can agree with that. Is it flat out terrible? No. There are some good ideas in here, but they aren't all executed in the best way possible. So let's get into it. So firstly, I really enjoyed the setting of Los Angeles, specifically in the year 2053. It just makes for a whole new vibe and tone for the show going forward. And with all the surviving hosts from Westworld out and about, the possibilities are endless. As far as the characters go, Dolores is now using a false identity to get close to Liam Dempsey Jr., the son of the co-founder of Insight. Insight is a company that developed an AI known as Rehobo, and this is essentially what Dolores is trying to access. Maeve is back despite being killed off at the end of season 2 and awakens in a new theme park called Warworld, inspired by World War II. Bernard is now a fugitive, having been framed for the park massacre in the previous season, and is planning a return to Westworld while evading as many bounty hunters as possible. As for Charlotte, who is now technically a clone of Dolores, she has to assume Charlotte's duties at Dallas, and the season even delves into her personal life a little bit. As for William, he is now a recluse and is tormented by visions of his dead daughter Emily. There's a couple of new characters as well, such as Caleb Nichols, played by Aaron Paul, who we all know as Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad. Caleb is a military veteran, still recovering from losing his friend Francis in battle. He's also in the middle of a quarter-life crisis, trying to find work despite his social merits. And at some point, being fed up with his life and all that, he decides to join Dolores' revolution. And of course, there's Engeron Serac, played by Vincent Cassell. Serac and his brother, Jean Mi, created an AI known as Solomon after witnessing the destruction of Paris as teenagers. Solomon was created to monitor humanity as well as prevent sudden natural disasters from occurring. Serac wanted to create something a bit more advanced than Solomon, and that's how Rehobam came to be. Vincent Cassell played Serac pretty well, and I've also found him to be a very underrated actor as well. He's done some fairly well-known French films, being a French actor, such as La Haine and the controversial Irreversible, and he's appeared in a couple of other major Hollywood productions here and there. The season is also paced pretty well, you know, especially at just eight episodes. And the fifth episode, Genre, features a drug of the same name that Caleb takes, and it makes for a somewhat trippy experience. So I think stoners will enjoy that episode. I don't know. And while the finale wasn't perfect, it definitely delivered in terms of spectacle and set up a few interesting plot points for season four. And one thing I forgot to mention is that season two did have a post credit scene, and so does season three. Now, unfortunately, season three has quite a few issues, in my opinion. There's bound to be some confusing plot points here and there. They brought back certain characters for nothing. Even Maeve's return feels forced in some ways. Thematically, this season isn't as deep as the first two seasons. And while the finale was great, it kind of devolved into contemporary politics a little bit. And, you know, on the whole, for a show that was very groundbreaking and innovative, season three took things in somewhat of a generic direction. So... For all those reasons, this season just didn't click with me. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Season 3 of Westworld. Next time, I'm going to be looking at Season 4. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Please be sure to like the video, share it, and subscribe. Ring the bell. Take care, and I'll see you soon.